Hello, welcome to another Python programming tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at how to convert binary to deanery using a uh, sort of very short amount of code. Very simple um, bit of bit of code in programming here. So you know, jump straight into it. Uh, first thing I will say is there's a dozen and one different ways to do this. This is the way I've come up with. Um, not to say that I, you know, have come up this idea on my own it's probably been done before but this is how I I sort of planned it out and logically thought it out so I said before it's only about 14 lines long it's very short very simple first thing we're going to do is ask the user to enter their number that we want to convert so um, enter your number straightforward I am forcing it to be integer type here just to prevent any errors um, when doing the calculations we want it to be an integer, integer, sorry, and not a string. So we're forcing that using this this method here. Um, next thing we need to do is just set up a blank list. I'm going to use lists because it's a bit easier to um, append or insert uh, values at any position that I want, which we'll we'll touch on that in a second. So we've got the first two variables done. These are the only variables that we need to deal with um, in this in this little bit of a program. Um, we're going to do a while loop and then some if statements and that's it for working out so the first we need to do is set up our while loop so while the number that the user enters does not equal zero which is pretty straightforward because what we want to do is after it's done all the calculations our end goal is to get the number down to zero so whilst it doesn't equal zero we're going to do this if statement if number uh, percentage sign Two, if that is equal to zero so I'll explain that now so if the number when divided by two um, doesn't have a remainder or the remainder equals zero um, if that's the case so for example a number like 50 divided by two you get 25 with no remainder a number like 51 you would have 25 with a remainder of one if it was divided by two so if the number when divided by two doesn't have a remainder or has a remainder of zero in this case then we need we can simply say number equals itself divided by two because we know that number can be divided by two without any decimal uh, need for decimal places so after it's been divided by two because again we want to get that number down to zero we want to keep dividing it until it gets to zero um, if that's the case we're going to take our binary list and we're going to insert a value now when we call upon the insert method for our list the first argument it wants or the first bit of information it wants is the position we always want to be inserting our um, either zero or one as we run through we want to put it at the beginning to push um, the rest of the numbers on towards the right so we're always going to be putting it in so say this was the uh, the binary zero zero one and we wanted to do run through again and add another number it would put it here as opposed to at this end on the right hand side so position zero and we're inserting the value zero else if so we don't need to say um, if the number remainder two equals one we don't need to say that we can just say else because that's the only other po possible option um, if that's the case we're going to take the number we're going to minus one from it and then we can now divide by two so again, if we had a number like 51, can that number divide, be divided by 2 without with a remainder of 0? No. So we go to the else statement where we take the number 51, we minus 1 from it, so 50, and then we can divide it by 2. If that's the case, our binary list is now going to be updated with, again, at position 0, but this time a value of 1. So that 1 will be our uh, 1 in binary to mean the number is being used in the, in the binary table. So we can finish this off with print binary and we can give this a test so f5 give it a save enter your number let's try 100 we get no errors we get no problems we get a binary number so let's take this number i'm going to copy it i'm going to go to our conversion website i'm going to paste it in and it doesn't mean i've got to get rid of these commas but it's easily easily done uh, so our binary value for 100 is apparently 1100100 according to uh, our program. Let's see if that converts, and it does. 
let's run it again let's give it a number this time that isn't easily divisible by zero uh, by two sorry with a remainder of zero let's take a number like 131 again we get a binary output no errors we can copy this hit up a website to check our conversion has worked so our value our binary value is one one two three four five zeros and then one one give it a convert and 131 so like i said before what are we okay 13 lines so it was actually less and obviously you could get rid of these spaces and it would reduce it down to just 10 lines um but i'd just like to have the, the space between just to easily read the the, the coding Anyway, if you found this useful, um, be sure to leave a like on the video. If you have any comments, any questions that you need, feel free to post them down in the comment section. I'll reply as quick as possible, and if possible, uh, help you out with the problem you have. Um, again, I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one.